Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be looking at using masking or masks to effectively use and display or show images or graphics in your designs all in Adobe XD. We are going to be looking at creating or adding images and adding masks to those images and also creating websites or graphics like these to add to your designs and create beautiful experiences for your clients or customers and we're also going to be looking at creating masks using texts here i've used an image and used a text box as a mask and all of these are completely customizable so if you like this video please do me a favor hit the like button and share it with your network so more people can benefit from these and also consider subscribing as i'm going to be sharing more ideas and more videos for you in the future so let's get started so i'm in adobe xd and these are a few artboards from a project that i did when i was in design school we did a case study on a company called trader joe's which sells organic products and they wanted to increase their online presence and digital presence to create more awareness and obviously expand the shopping experience amongst millennials and so the idea was to introduce gamification as a means of rewarding customers and inviting them to shop different products in the stores i'll include a link to the case study down in the description i would encourage you to go through the case study and so coming back to the topic of masking um i designed this artboard with a photo that i took when we visited the store to do some research and so i'm going to delete that i'm going to bring an image from the file explorer now uh, you can also do that from finder in mac and so i'm just going to drag and drop this image directly into xd but not on the artboard so that's one way to do that the other way is obviously you can go to the file menu and click on import and then navigate to your folder to select your assets or images so now i'm going to quickly uh, just arrange the dimensions of the image uh, until i'm happy and on the layers panel i want it to go all the way to the bottom so that's one quick way of bringing images in adobe xd but if you notice if i hover my mouse over the image or just the artboard uh, you can see that the dimensions or the bounds of that image are clearly visible and there's actually a better way to bring in images in adobe xd and it's a good practice so let's see that so i'm going into this artboard and with the rectangle tool i'm going to randomly create a rectangle and then align that rectangle with the artboard size in this case actually so you can align that rectangle at that shape according to your needs i'm going to arrange that shape in the layers panel and bring it right above the image i'm going to select both of these images in the layers panel right click and make sure that the photo is actually the one below and the rectangle or any shape is the one on the top and then you can just select this option mask with shape or you can remember this shortcut shift control m or shift command m so now your image has been masked with that rectangle or you can use any shape actually the good thing is that all of this is still customizable so if i want to move that image I can still do that so this is good practice it's like the first way is not wrong but this is good practice to keep your artboards clean so that was the first way to mask images if you're using on different artboards don't forget to save your progress okay let's move on so this is actually the home page for my app that we worked on up top over here we have a carousel of the recipes that trader joe's actually sells in the what's new section so i have three images for the carousel so what i want to show in this um second way of using masks is that if i have a shape 
already selected i can then go to my explorer or finder i can then drag the image or any graphic onto this shape or like directly onto this shape so you notice a mask is automatically created and then i can double click to actually edit the image or resize in any way so now i'm actually pressing alt so the image resizes from the center i can resize this uh until i'm happy and then click outside the mask is updated so the first way was we actually create a shape um that we want to use as a bound boundaries for that mask the other one is that if we already have a shape we can just drag an image directly into that shape so you see in the layers panel uh, we don't have two different layers for the image and the shape a rectangle in this case um, but the image is actually put into this shape directly now if i change the color or change any properties of this image obviously that's going to be updated so i'm going to undo that change so this is a quick way but then be careful about making any changes later so i like the first way of masking images because then i can still make changes to individual shapes and the image itself those were the two quick ways of using masking in your artboards one more good use of masking is portrayed in this example over here this is the landing page of a hypothetical project or a company called equip i have this basketball player over here so let's try to recreate this image over here so i have this image uh, which i edited in photoshop or outside of xd or you can use any program to do that this was part of a larger image and i had to remove the background but for this image what i want to do is add some graphics behind or around this image and actually use it in a better way so notice in this case like this image i did not crop that image properly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly create a rectangle on top of that image and then select both mask with shape and then adjust my mask rectangle to adjust the bounds of the section of the image that i want now if you already have the image properly uh, cropped then you don't have to do this this is an extra step that i have to do so you can ignore that but let's say you have this image right here now and now i want to add some graphics around that image like we saw earlier so i'm going to quickly select the ellipse tool and holding shift on my keyboard i'm going to create a perfect circle i can then resize the image according to my needs so for now i'm going to leave it like so but just arrange it over here okay but the important thing is that i want to push this behind my basketball player or any image that you're using right so like so now you can give that ellipse or any other shape you can even use a vector shape over here not a problem so i'm going to give this um let's give it a gradient okay so i'm happy with the color but you can choose to play around um, until you are satisfied since i was talking about like any vector shapes um there's one plugin called blobular that you can use to automatically generate blobs for you um i just happened to stumble upon this uh plugin so just thought of mentioning it here if you want to use it but for now i'm going to use this ellipse as is so i'm happy with the ellipse and i'm happy with this image as well and the placement of these both images relative to each other to create a mask here's a trick actually so i don't want to see the shoes or the legs of this basketball player just the body and the head and you can see that the head is popping out of this ellipse and that's what we want to show but just get rid of the legs so instead of creating or like you know cropping this image again and removing the legs by a painstaking method or any other method one quick way to actually do that is you already have that ellipse what i'm going to do is press command or control d to create a duplicate i'll rearrange that 
duplicate and bring it to the top above my basketball player so now my ellipse i'm going to rename this as mask because we're going to use this shape which is on the top as a mask let me actually differentiate the top one by giving it a different color right so now all we need to do is double click to actually edit the individual bounds of this shape and then you can use the pen tool to add more or adjust the shape of the mask so once i'm happy with that i'm going to select all the three layers and the important thing in the layers panel is that this shape that we just edited should be on the top that's the only important thing doesn't matter how many layers you have beneath this shape as long as this one is on the top you can right click and then mask with shape and there you have it the legs are easily cut off you don't have to edit the image in a photo editing tool so this is a quick way of actually adding graphics around an image and adding those images onto your websites to make them look nice and then you can move ahead in your design project now i'm going to show you a bonus tip or one more method to use masks using text so i am going to quickly bring in one more image this image is actually much bigger than my artboard size so i'm going to use the first trick that i showed you mask it so let's say you have an image that you liked and you want to create a mask but using text right so let me first create some text now this is spaghetti pasta right please forgive me if i am misspelling spaghetti i'm going to change the color of this to white first really change the font and then align it in the center so once i'm happy with the font and the text what i can do is select the image behind the text and then select the text itself and looking at the properties panel over here we have these boolean operators over here i'm going to select the third one which is intersect and now you have a text with a masked masked image behind it the best part about this is that this text is still customizable so let's say you want to come in and change this to or respell it right it is still customizable so we call this method non destructive method wherein we are not actually making any changes final so we can always come back to this design file and update the text or the images if you want another result so those were the four quick ways you can use or take advantage of masking in your designs all in adobe xd and i would recommend using the first the third and the fourth method in my next video i'm going to be sharing how to create a video animation of a mask created using text with a uh, image background if you like this video please show some love and hit the like button share this video with your network so more people can benefit from these methods and create more masks and do consider subscribing to my channel as i'll be posting and sharing more ideas and more videos in the future thank you so much for watching